Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here, please subscribe, followed by the bell. So, if you are looking for the best phone to lay your hands on, in 2022, here are the most selected device you can order immediately, so, starting with. Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra The Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra sets the tone for high-end handsets this year, combining everything we loved about the Galaxy Note series with the outstanding specs from the Galaxy S series. It's the size and shape of a miniature notepad, and it comes with the S Pen tucked away in the body of the phone. You'll be able to take quick notes or sketches, and it feels seriously smooth to do so on the 6.8-inch QHD Plus display. Clear, sharp and colorful Samsung never disappoints when it comes to its screen tech, thanks to a peak brightness of 1750 nits and the new Vision Booster feature, you should be able to see it wherever you are as well, even if you use it under direct sunlight. Under the hood, you'll find the latest 4 nanometers processor, which will mean the Exynos 2200 if you're in Europe and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 if you're in the US. You can choose to buy it with either 8GB or 12GB of RAM, and there are loads of storage options too, ranging from as little as 128GB right up to a whopping 1TB. As you might have already guessed, the camera system is top tier, you should be able to take professional looking shots whatever the weather and whatever time of day it is. There are tons of clever AI-based features to explore, all of that comes alongside the most up-to-date Android 12 with Samsung's One UI 4.0, so expect full control over your privacy and loads of customization options for the device. Next, Apple iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 13 Pro Max. Both the iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 13 Pro Max share the same top-of-the-line camera system this year, and they are our pick as the iPhone for photos and videos. This time around, you don't have to buy the biggest and most expensive model to get the best camera system, you get the same experience with either of the Pro models. The three rear cameras, standard wide, ultra wide, and telephoto, combine with Apple's image processing to produce stunning images, particularly in low light. If photo and video quality is your most important factor when buying a phone, the 13 Pro is where you should be spending your money. The 13 Pro has a physically larger camera sensor compared to prior models that allows its main 12-megapixel camera to gather more light and produce better quality images, especially in dark or challenging lighting conditions. Its ultra-wide camera is able to take stunning macro photos, thanks to its new close-focus capability. In addition, the 3x optical zoom on the telephoto lens makes for great portrait photography. That larger sensor and the fact that it's using sensor-based stabilization make for stable and beautiful videos, even in low light. You can even shoot and edit videos directly in ProRes on the iPhone 13 Pro, as long as you have a 256GB or higher storage model. Next, Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. If you're looking for a premium phone with a stylus and amazing battery life, the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is still the one for you. Because this device originally launched in 2020, and then it's highly likely that Samsung will be discontinuing the series, you might be able to score some deals for this device, if you can find one. The Note 20 Ultra is a high-end phone in every other respect, its giant 6.9-inch OLED display is 2K in resolution and supports a 120Hz refresh rate for smooth interactions. It is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 Plus processor and 12GB of RAM, so it can perform without a hiccup. Together, these elements make the S Pen sing by cutting down the latency between inking and what you see on screen. While its triple rear camera system is not as good as the iPhone 13 Pros, it's still one of the most advanced you can get, with its 4500 mAh battery, you can expect about 2 days of use before you'll need a recharge. Next, TCL 20S. Not everyone needs a premium flagship phone, and even a budget phone can be a delight to use these days. If your budget is $300, and you are on the hunt for the best bang for your buck, the $250 TCL 20S will defy your expectations for what a budget should look and feel like. You might recognize the TCL brand from its popular budget smart TVs, 
where its screen expertise is what makes the TCL 20SS vibrant, 6.67-inch 1080p screen a standout. The 20S has a layer of fingerprint-resistant, micron-sized prismatic crystals on its back that gives it a subtle shimmer. It has a quick fingerprint sensor that is built into its power button, as well as face unlock as an additional security option. While the 20SS camera system is nothing to write home about, its 64-megapixel main camera and 15-megapixel front camera are both more than capable of taking detailed photos in good lighting conditions, just don't use them for night or macro photography. For a budget phone, the 20S has no noticeable lag in performance, thanks to its Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 processor and 4GB of RAM. By default, it comes with 128GB of internal storage, a microSD card slot, a 3.5mm audio jack, and a 5000mAh battery that lasts for around 2 days without a recharge. The TCL 20S is proof that even a $250 and buy a good phone without many compromises. It just nails all the basics that anyone would want from a phone, good performance, a good screen, good battery life, for a good price. Next, Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. Sick of smartphones that only get bigger and heavier and all you want is for some new ways to use your phone? Samsung's third go at a flip phone seems to strike the right balance of whimsy, technical prowess and price that make the Galaxy Z Flip 3 appealing to mainstream users. For $999.99, this 4.2-inch pocketable device can transform into a 6.7-inch 1080p OLED display that is bright and has a fast 120Hz refresh rate. The screen can also be used as a split screen for multitasking. When closed, you can use the 1.9-inch outer second screen, which displays handy widgets like app notifications and audio player controls without making you open the phone. The Galaxy Flip 3 has the same Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 processor and 8GB of RAM as any other flagship phone released in 2021. Battery life is also just fine, providing between 4 and 5 hours of screen time between charges, it's too bad its dual cameras did not get an upgrade from the previous iteration. Both the 12MP standard wide and ultra-wide rear cameras, as well as the 10MP front-facing selfie camera, take good but not great photos. Due to the Z Flip 3's form factor, it can double as a mobile tripod for the cameras, which makes for some fun new ways to take photos. Unlike the $1,400 Motorola Razr 2020, the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 hits at just the right price and style point for it to mainstream the idea of a flip phone. It's hard to say how durable this foldable screen will be, but at least you can be among the first to find out. Next, Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. If you've been waiting patiently for the foldable phone to mature before dropping some serious coin for one, this might be the year to get the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. Microsoft's dual-screen Surface Duo 2 is a distant second to the Fold 3. In this early two-device race, the Fold 3 is Samsung's third-generation folding phone. Its main premise is this. It is sized like a skinny smartphone that fits in your pocket, but it unfolds to reveal a tablet-sized 7.6-inch display on the inside. That inside screen makes everything from reading books to browsing the web to watching video to playing games more enjoyable and immersive. When you're done using it, just fold it back up and stick it in your pocket just like any other phone. It also has an extra 6.2-inch screen on the cover with 2268 by 832 resolution, so you can use it for quick tasks when you don't have enough time or space to unfold the main screen. That flexibility is unmatched by any other phone you can buy right now, but it doesn't come without a significant list of compromises. The Fold 3 is twice as thick when closed compared to normal phones, all its cameras are subpar, and its 4400mAh battery is a bit small to power so many screens. While the Fold 3 is water-resistant, IPX8, the durability of its foldable screen and hinge remains an open question. But the biggest compromise is its cost, the Fold 3 is roughly twice as expensive as other high-end phones. At $1,800, you're still paying a lot for the ability to fold a tablet screen in half. 
If you're willing to put up with those compromises for an experience that's unlike anything else, though, the Fold 3 delivers. Well, that is it guys, let me know the listed device you would like to go for or you are using currently in the comment below, and if you are new here please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video, one peace out.